Well, tonight we're hearing from the U.S. Secretary of Transportation. He's sharing details on a $15 million Arkansas River port improvement project. Five News reporter Kayla Davis shows us how this will impact the local economy and the supply chain. We are sending $15 million to Fort Smith. And U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg says that money will lead to improved barge traffic on the Arkansas River. That is a very important part of how barge traffic moves on the Arkansas River. Uh, that's a big part of our supply chains. A lot of people don't know about it or think about it, but the, the prices we pay at the store depend on having more efficient ways to ship goods, including moving them up and down the river, which can also be the most environmentally responsible way to move things. The project will include a slackwater harbor off the main channel of the Arkansas River, spanning 100 feet long and 200 feet wide. Marty Shell, president of Five Rivers Distribution Port, says he's eager to see the improvements. I think the Biden administration's overall view would be to help with the climate change issue. We're trying to get away from using fossil fuels and trying to be using more electrical and trying to get the congestion off of our, our concrete highways and start utilizing our liquid highways. This is where the port expansion is expected to begin next year. Now, Marty Shell calls it the liquid highway because it'll create a pathway where the port staff can pick up their shipments from tow boats just over this hill at the river, then drive them across the pathway and place them over at this open field where the companies can then come pick up their deliveries, creating a much more efficient and cheaper way for the port staff and those companies to pick up the goods. Shell says the project will also stimulate the River Valley community with job opportunities. With our partners at the A&M Railroad and with our trucking companies and with the new Interstate I-49 running north and south and the original I-40 running east and west, it makes prime location for economic growth for the future. And Secretary Buttigieg says there is more funding to be allocated. We are smack in the middle uh, of uh, the, the, the infrastructure package. In fact, we're coming up on the two-year anniversary since the president signed it. Uh, so keep your eye out for more good news coming to the region, whether it's roads and bridges or, or transit or uh, airports and ports like this one. In Van Buren, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News.